Happy Father's Day. Happy, happy, happy Father's Day. Uh, Tony Blair's been out this morning saying, Iraq, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I didn't start the fire. I never say, right, hey, we need, we need to, John McTernan, we need to go back to Iraq and bring them back the freedom and the democracy they deserve. They haven't had enough. They haven't had enough. Happy Father's Day. I see mass executions. There's bodies and they're just shooting them all. The ISIS, they just put a load of bodies down. Shia, Shia, Iraqi, they just shot them all. You've got Syria, you've got Iran, you've got, you've got the Americans, you've got Israel, you've got JP Morgan, BP, the drug of the economists, the oil, the greed, the, the, the feeding, the frenzy, the war machine. Without debt, destruction and death, the global economy will collapse. And you're going to centre, Tony Blair, Tony Blair, the hubris, the narcissist, the, 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 the warmongering, the hate, the, 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 the stony face killer. He's out in the middle of Iraq, he's on every single TV screen. They, 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 they say, what are we going to do? Whoa, whoa, we got, haven't you done enough? Haven't you done enough? You got your football sponsored by the Qatari. You, 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 you've got, you've, you've got, you've got England against Italy. Didn't you see Pirlo? He was having a glass of wine. He had his elbow on a thing. He was dressed. He had a really nice bed and he looked cool. Meanwhile, out in Iraq, they're all dead. They've been burned, they're dying there, they're on fire. They're running for their lives. And Tony Blair comes out and he's on every single TV. Cameron's out, he's saying we need to be more British. We're, you've got a Tony Blair article underneath. Cameron saying we need to be a bit more patriotic. We need to have the flags of St George and England. And about like the, the, the schools in Birmingham, you know when 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 does this stop? David Aronovich is saying look, after the mass execution, this is the signal, this is the sign that the world has to go to Iraq and end it. End what? End what, David? The world? Is that is that is that your solution? You say on fire? And that ain't, that ain't enough. Everyone's dead. These fathers, they don't know about. Have you been to the British Museum? Have you seen what's inside it? That's what they're doing now. They're still stealing every everything. It's got nothing to do with us. Never had anything to do with us. Nothing's... They, they, whatever, why? It's about the oil. It's about the oil. It's about BP, Marks and Spencers, the Wild Bean Cafe. It's about you turning up and fueling your car. Because that's what they told you to do. Because that's where they said the world's run. We need oil. We need energy. And, and, and they like the money. They like the power. They like the greed. They like, they, they like the smell of death. They like this. This is how they control things. You know, the Daily Mail, in, in an article yesterday, I saw William Haig hobnobbing with Angelina Jolie at Rape Summit. Hobnobbing at Rape Summit. The, 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 the government, the media... The war machine, it's disgusting. What 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 kind of humanity, what kind of what what kind of people have created this? Fathers, men.
you know, wasn't it enough that, that Abu Ghraib, wasn't it enough the, the, the Fallujah, wasn't it enough the Baha Musas, wasn't that all enough? You know the Western style of democracy. You know there's there's going to be massive weapons testing. There's going to be drones. There's going to be. This is the future. This is the future of man. This is this 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 is the hell. This is the evil. You know these media and and governments and and, and war machines. You know they they're breeding they're breeding prejudice every day of the week. You know they know that's how 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 they how they control things. You know Tony Blair. The, the, he he he's on he's on the headlines of the BBC. Know that he's he, he's the Middle East peace envoy. You know, there's no there's no there's no call for this man to be arrested. This 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 the things that he's done. John McCain, he, he's out, he's out saying about George Bush and how great he, he how they won the war and the mission accomplished. George Orwell wrote 1984 in 1948, and by reversing the last two digits of that year, arrived at the year in which to set his nightmare vision of a world run by the totalitarian state. Orwell was of a generation of socialists who had believed in the Russian Revolution, and had gone to fight for socialism in the Spanish Civil War, and was, like others, vastly disillusioned when word of Stalin's barbarity began to leak to the West. Though 1984 is a denunciation of Stalinism and of Stalin's treatment of truth, that by controlling men's minds, the party controls the truth, it is also a warning to the rest of the world that it is possible to dehumanize man completely and yet for life to go on. In a society that builds machines which act like men and creates men who act like machines, it is possible that you too may come to love Big Brother. And now, 1984.